NASA's journey to Mars. Visibility is almost zero. The fictional movie The Martian brought it to life. You ready? Here on Earth, scientists are getting closer to that reality. Space is something that brings everyone together, and since we're all humans in the globe, I think everybody has an intrinsic desire to explore and to go out into space. And liftoff at dawn. In the year since the first flight test of Orion, the space shuttle's successor, teams of NASA engineers and scientists have taken ideas from concept to design. We're looking at lots of different options. Less from spacecraft landing on Mars. Separating liquid from gas. To life support in frigid temperatures. A small, small three-story house would probably be a good description. Uh, you have a utility room down on the lower level. Uh, an exercise room, kind of like a basement downstairs. This deep space habitat, a prototype, it's being developed for long duration missions. High above us, the International Space Station and lessons learned, a model for different ways to generate oxygen. Teams are also using simulated Martian rock and soil that could advance 3D printing and help astronauts build structures with materials already there. Getting to Mars. That'll take the space launch system. Across the country, sections of the world's largest rocket are coming together. Its engine tests, successful. The SLS will carry the Orion spacecraft and take Americans farther than ever. We are in real production for real hardware at this point. When the SLS and Orion and, and the ground support come together at Kennedy Space Center, I think the nation will be proud of what they've invested in NASA. The first expedition to Mars is planned for the 2030s. A nation of explorers pushing into a new frontier. Alex Sands, the Associated Press, Huntsville, Alabama.